What's up guys? It is JD from Letter Rip Side by Side and Adventure. It is a huge day. I have been patiently, patiently waiting to do a reveal. Now, we actually had, if you're not familiar with the channel, we had three rigs. We had OG 2.0, which was a 2020 XP Turbo. That's down the road. We had my wife's XP Turbo, a 21. That was Grey Ghost. That one's down the road. Then we had the 2022 Pro XP Sport. Guess what? That one's down the road. Now, the machines that I picked up, you know, they have been, you know, one of them's been on the market for a while, and then the other one has been on the market, has disappeared off the market, has been on the market, and has disappeared off the market. But before we get to, like, that right there, check this out. What's up guys it is a good day and it is a sad day all at the same time we are letting gray ghosts go we are letting the beast over there which you guys have both seen on the channel or everybody's seen on the channel we are currently at lang's equipment so speaking of lang's equipment let's take a little gander whose fault is this by the way oh this is 100 percent nick's fault <laughs> It goes on for days. I don't know how many units he's got here, but he has quite a pile. Yeah, but as you can see, guys, he's got quite a lineup in here as well. Um, best part is, is what's cool is he has all kinds of accessories, Polaris, Rigid, uh, Pro Armor product. He's got door enclosures, tires and wheels down here. He has just a little bit of everything for some of these machines. So I think it is a really cool place. Once again, this is Lang's Equipment in Wausau, Wisconsin. Tell them JD sent you, but give you a little teaser. Ooh. All right, so this is possibly what's gonna happen. By the way, this is Nick. Say what up, Nick. What's up? Yeah. So this is what we snagged up. Boom! There it is! So we got rid of Grey Ghost, got rid of the Beast, and we snagged ourselves up a Pro R. What was your statement about the, the A-arms? Oh. Show the A-arms. <laughs> Show them. Yeah, look at them. That's about as big as a horse femur. That's what big we're as a gonna, horse femur? We're going to jump it. <laughs> yeah, so we are. Um, I did, I got, I got a exceptional deal on this one. Now, it does have 300 miles on it, which is all right. Uh, the break-in side of things is done. All the fluids have been gone through. They've cleaned everything up, detailed it out. Um, so yeah, I understand that it is used, but I know Nick, uh, he's big into the whole side-by-side -side game and stuff like that. So this was his personal machine and he is looking, he, he's like, Hey, I sold the rest of my pro R's. So if you want it, come check it out. And we said, yes, we did. Now it is not the dynamics or premium edition because we will actually use our own, um, we will use our own display for ride command and all that miscellaneous stuff so a lot of the stuff we you know we didn't necessarily need now would have been nice to have the dynamic shock sure would have but you know whatever it is what it is so we are going to finish up some paperwork and then uh we're going to take this thing for a ride so we'll be back so as you can see it was kind of a bittersweet day everybody says don't get attached to your rigs but it's one of those things we name every single one of our rigs uh every single four-wheeler we've ever owned three wheelers dirt bikes up to the side by sides we name our vehicles you know we take care of them we maintenance them and they do us they do us good you know those rigs had taken us to us you know five six seven different states multiple different locations and it was well worth every penny well worth all the maintenance and no matter which way you sugarcoat it it was sad to see them go so we got rid of the three machines and we currently have two completely different rigs so one you guys are going to be like i can't believe you got rid of a side by side to get what is sitting like 
right over there but I miss the freedom of having having a rig that I can just toss in the back of my truck. Uh, I miss having the ability to throw a set of ramps on the tailgate, jam your rig up in the back of the truck and go ride. You don't have to worry about width restrictions. You don't have to worry about um, just the overall trailering, the, the maintenance, the cleanup time that comes along with having a bigger rig such as a side-by-side. -side. Now, will I ever not have a side-by-side? -side? That is definitely not the case. So, without further ado, let's throw it into a little montage. Check these things out. there they are it has been a long overdue wait to be able to reveal these things to you guys because they have been patiently sitting in my garage and I have not even had either one of these rigs out on the trail yet I know that sounds nuts but I have been doing a lot of stuff behind closed doors a lot of stuff behind closed doors to get to where we're at right now um, we actually upgraded to a POV action drone. Uh, we changed some of the GoPros to the latest, most updated versions as far as trying to better the viewing experience for you guys. The drone is to try to give a little more immersive of an experience, chasing these side-by-sides through the trails and all that other good stuff. But what do we got? We got a 2022 Pro R. Now this is sitting on a stage one tune. So they usually come about 225 horsepower from the showroom floor. With the stage one, it's about 15 horsepower. So we're sitting at about 240. Now, obviously that's the crank, that's not to the wheel. But it's the awesome part is, is the gentleman that I've worked with or that I've been, uh, Nick that you've seen when we dropped the rigs off, he has actually been working with Bikeman. He's been to their facility here in Wisconsin. Uh, he's seen the dyno uh numbers as far as horsepower and stuff like that so i've always gone with like you know evo and dino jet product and stuff like that but i really think this time if i do stick any more money into this i am gonna go with the bikeman tunes seeing some of the numbers they've got proven product so anyway 2022 pro r only thing that i have changed on this rig guys is i put the rock sliders on it half windshield light bar and then in the inside over in the corner over there, there is a USB port. We've got good old rock lights. Oh, sorry, whips. And then we've got, oh, can't see that there because of the light. Sorry about that, guys. It is early in the morning. Oh, we got our rock lights tucked up in there. Other than that, she's bone stock. She, there has nothing been done to that other than the tune, a couple of miscellaneous accessories. Everybody's like throw 35s on it. And I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that right now. I do not want to take away the drivability of that rig because everybody knows that when you go with a taller tire, bigger sidewall, yeah, it might handle it, but they come stock with a 32 for a reason. So I'm gonna drive the dog snot out of that, which we're gonna be doing here yet today. You'll see that after this video, and then I'm gonna decide from there. Now, I did not get a brand new, it only has 300 and some miles on it, but it's about as new as you can get. Now, I do have an extended warranty, not through Polaris, through a different company, that way if anything does go wrong with that rig, we can get it squared away. Next, we have the 2022 Polaris Scrambler XP1000S Limited Edition. This thing is nuts. So is the price tag, but it is nuts. There has been absolutely nothing done to this rig right here other than the fact of picking it up off the showroom floor and you're seeing it. It has not even hit the dirt. Nothing. Now, so it did come with the Pro Armor light bar right there that comes stock with those and then i do have a polaris 3500 pound winch that's sitting in the garage that we will get installed 
Now, I don't know if anybody's familiar with this rig. It's kind of like the XP Sportsman 1000, a little different chassis, more of a sport, not even close to a work style machine. Uh, it's 55 inches wide. It is considered to be the widest and longest sport slash four wheel drive UTV on the market. And that some of it was brand new, like brand, brand new. She did not have but a mile and a half on it from moving it around the showroom floor. Went and picked it up and uh, that's getting rode, not today, but tomorrow. We get to go take that in. And I gotta do the break in miles, which is absolutely horrible. So anyway, guys, that is the new lineup. Everybody says I'm crazy, but like I said, I miss having the freedom of being a once upon a time full-fledged UTV or uh, ETV guy to have that, throw it in my truck, go ride, no trailer, and easy maintenance, easy cleanup. I am ready for that. And then the big issue with that is, is that cantankerous turd right there is not legal in the state of Wisconsin. We have width restrictions here and it is 64 inches. So people ask, well, why did you get a Pro R? Because honestly, I can take it out of state. We have multiple different parks here in the state of Wisconsin that I can take that to. And we live two hours from the Michigan border where that beast right there is perfectly legal, which we will be going up there, not this weekend, but the following weekend. We are gonna be riding with Nick, the gentleman that actually sold me both these rigs. Uh, he's gonna show us around the north woods of good old Michigan. I've never rode around up there, so I'm excited to see the forest roads. He said we get out to some crazy lake with a beach, all kinds of crazy stuff. There's gonna be a group of about five or six of us. So either way, guys, I don't wanna ramble on forever. There are the rigs. That's the new rigs for Letter Rip Side by Side and ATV Adventure. I'm really excited to share the experience with the ATV crowd while still having the side by side. I feel it's the best of both worlds. And from everything that I've seen as far as that Polaris Scrambler, now that's 90 horse almost, out the box, 80 mile an hour quad that eats up everything that you throw at it. So I'm excited to have the best of both worlds. We'll see. Is the wife happy? No, not really. But it is what it is. So either way, guys, really appreciate all the support. And I, I continue to see the channel grow. Oh, yeah, don't forget. Wanted to mention. Don't forget about our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. At 1,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving back to you guys. I know everybody's like, oh, everybody's doing a giveaway. It's not that cool. Well, I want to do one too. So we're doing a Apex 5500 pound Badlands winch for first place. Second place is going to be a 32 inch Nylite light bar. And then third place is going to be uh, Chemical Guys Tough Mudder gallon of off-road soap. So either way, all pretty cool prizes. All you have to do, we're gonna change it up if you wanna comment on this video, this one, this one right here. Go to the comments section, let us know, hey, cool rigs, put a thumbs up. It doesn't matter to me what you do. Just comment on one of these videos or any of the Windrock videos and that gets you entered into the giveaway. No cost, no gimmicks, nothing crazy. Uh, we'll put everybody's name in a pool when we hit that thousand subscriber mark and uh, draw three names, might be a winner. All you gotta do is comment. Either way, guys, appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. And like we always say, on to the next adventure.